Alrighty, so this is, in this video we're going to be installing the Goretti intercooler kit. So first step is to take the bumper off, um, cut a hole here, and basically just take everything off and see if everything fits correctly. So yeah, start with that. Boom, there you go, bumpers off. So, now we're going to take this intercooler off, which is a GK Tech um, intercooler. And we're going to see where we got to run these um, pipings, which I haven't gotten out yet. Rightio, so after taking off all the intercooler piping um, right there, I've managed to find, so this pipe goes here, coming out of there. I'm currently um, drilling this hole here, I'm halfway through. So I'm through the battery tray now, and then we'll put this pipe in. Then we got to mount the intercooler, and then we're basically done. I'm just gonna double check some lines. So now that we're through the battery tray, the rest should be a little bit easier. Almost there. So close. Ta da! Rightio, so that goes through there. This will um, spin over onto that. I'm probably just I'm not sure what I'm doing with that actually, so I'll wait on that one. So it comes through, locks on there so you can adjust it, and the intercooler sits in the middle. What I have to do now is I have to chop some of these so the intercooler fits. I'm um, hard against here. So I'm going to do that and then we're going to do a rough fit, start the car, see how it goes. Um, I've got this tube here that I actually forgot what it's for. That'll come to me in two seconds I'm sure. And then I have a nice big intercooler on the car. That looks really mean like that. Oh, I also forgot to mention that this, uh, this has relocation brackets them two black ones right there. So I'll try and relocate this. Pretty sure it should be an easy job. Um, Intercool is on and mounted, but it's getting a bit late in the afternoon, so I have to continue this tomorrow. Um, basically everything just needs to be hooked up, and then we'll do a level test start and see how it goes. So I'm back to it today. I took the intercooler off again, because I forgot to put some uh, spring washers underneath. Um, a bit of damage there, don't worry about that. It's all good. Um, so what I did, I cut these panels here, but I've also sprayed them down so there's no rust. Just with some rust protect. Same thing with up here in the battery tray. Um, and now I'm hooking everything up. So this is the first pipe going on. Comes out from up there into here. That's ready to be fastened down. And do the same thing to this side. Might need some adjusting there. And also managed to get the brackets uh, sorted for here, so now everything fits in. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, yes, and I'm gonna hook everything up, make sure everything works, and put this pipe in here, and then we're good to go. So I skipped ahead a fair bit here, but I've managed to extend the hole and put some uh, uh, curry around it. But that will be the uh, solution for now. So obviously that's how it looks. It's pretty mad. Um, I need to find a place to put this pipe for the, the blitz sequential control. Um, so yeah, I need to find a place for that. Otherwise it looks pretty good, I've blocked this off again. So this just twists around and comes under me here. Other than that, pretty good, I'm going to let it warm up and I might take it for a drive, see how it goes. Uh, but right now it's looking alright, so that is fine. Yeah, it's really good. After some great struggle. Intercooler is on. Have to do some uh, cutting out of the bumper so you can see a little bit of it here, but see in there the pipe goes in. Yeah, that's a bit of cutting. This side is uh, a lot less cutting, so yeah, that's how that looks. I love how it looks, looks really aggressive like that. Uh, so, bumper's back on. Temp. Temporary. Temp. Temporary. And uh, probably gonna go for a test drive and see how it goes. Rightio, so this is the first drive with the new intercooler in. Um, let's see what happens. I've turned down the boost recently from last time because I still don't know the pure condition of the car, so I think it's boot off again. 
So here we go. It's hard to see if it's recording. Wait. Focus here. Cool, it's focusing here. moment that he knew he fucked up. So what you saw just there, or heard just there, was the blower valve block that I had inside the blower valve um, hole shot out and now I have a massive boost leak. So as you can see in this image here, this is how I had it blocked off and then this is how I have it now. This is much better and much more secure. The other one, I didn't have the proper equipment and it just I just stuffed it in there and thought oh that'd be okay because it's sitting in there stiff but realizing there's a lot of pressure that builds up in there so a bit of a stupid mistake by me but this silicon blocker was a much better option and is super secure and it's not going to go anywhere I've actually also put the block inside there with the cover over the top just for extra um, protection but yeah, silly mistake, but other than that, the car sounds amazing. And that will be pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.